Hello and welcome to another Drone Smart episode. I'm Marcelo Lewin, the Digimedia Dude. Did you know that as of December 21, 2015, you have to register your drone? Now, we're not talking about registering this kind of drone, the little ones, but there are some sizes you do have to register. All of this information is at the FAA website. Now, you don't want to take a chance and fly your drone outside without registering it because if anything happens, such as an accident, and it's traced back to you, you can face some criminal or civil penalties. So you don't want to take a chance. So let me show you how to register your drone. Here I am at the FAA registration site and I'm going to be posting all these URLs on the show notes for this episode. But the first one we want to go to is the register myuas.faa.gov. Now, the other two that you'll be interested in is the actual FAA UAS registration URL, where it talks about who needs to register, what kind of drone you must have to register. And then the third one is a PDF file that gives you examples of drones you would need to register or would not need to register. So let's go ahead and register my drone. So I'm going to click on the register my drone button to start the registration process. So I'm going to go ahead and enter my email address. And then I'm going to enter a password. The password must include at least one lowercase letter and also a symbol and a number. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Once I've done that, I'm going to create account and it says, please check your email inbox to continue. That means it's going to send me an email so that I can verify my email. So I'm going to go ahead and check my email now. Okay, I've checked my email and you can see that I clicked on the link to verify just like any other service. Then it's gonna send me to this page and it's giving me a notice here that it's saying that I'm accessing a government website and then now they will implant a little camera inside of me and they will track me from this point on. No, it doesn't say that. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on agree and now I can go ahead and log in with the email and password that I signed up with. I'm in, so now I have to fill out my profile. As you can see, it's telling me here I have to do it before January 21st, so the registration fee will be refunded. In other words, they will charge you the five bucks, but then they'll refund it back. If you register after that, you will be charged the $5. Also, when I'm done, I'm gonna get a unique number that I will have to display in all of my drones. So let's go ahead and fill this out. I'm gonna go ahead and proceed to check out. So I have to read some safety guidance here and acknowledge that I agree with it, or at least acknowledge that I read it. So of course, I agree. If I want to learn more, just click on the learn more, then click on next. And now I have to put in my credit card information. Remember, before January 21st, it will be refunded. After January 21st, you will be charged the $5. So I'm going to go ahead and put in my credit card information. So I'm going to click on next. And here it's letting me review and verify to make sure everything's okay and that I understand that they will be tracking me in everything I do from this point on, not just my drones. No, they don't say that. So now I'm gonna click on pay and there we go. I have a new registration number. Of course, you can't see it because I don't want you to use it on your drone. And then I'm gonna get an email with the actual registration that I can print out. And there you go. I have now my new drone number, which I need to display on all my drones. They also emailed me a certificate and I'm also able to print the certificate by clicking here. Now in the future, if I sell my drone, I need to get rid of the markings in the drone so then other users won't be using the same number as the one you've registered. Because remember, what you're doing here is really not registering your drone, you're registering yourself as a drone operator, and then all your drones will have that number that you've gotten. So then if you do sell your drones, make sure you remove the number that the FAA gave you from your drones and put them on your new drones. Now, since you're really registering yourself and not the drone, this brings up a couple of questions in my mind. Number one, what stops anybody from taking my number that I just registered and putting it on their drone? And then they go fly their drone, they crash, have an accident, and the FAA comes after me. And the next question I have is, how do they verify that I am who I say I am? Yes, I put a credit card, and through that, perhaps they're trying to verify the ID, but I'm pretty sure, and I have not tried this, but I'm pretty sure I could use my brother's credit card to pay for the $5. So does that mean that I just verified with his name? 
There has to be a way to be able to tie the drone, the way it looks, a serial number, or something that is particular identifiable of that drone to that number. Otherwise, anybody can take your number, put it on their drone, and go cause havoc. And then who's going to be liable? Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please remember to like this video. Also, if you have any questions, comments, or opinions, please post them below. Finally, please follow me on Vimeo or subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you want more videos like these, you can find them at digimediadude.com. So until the next episode, I am Marcelo Lewin, the Digimedia Dude. Cheers, everybody. Cheers.